Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to solve simultaneous ordinary differential equations using the MATLAB inbuilt function ODE45. This kind of problems are very common in chemical engineering, especially in the subjects uh, like chemical reaction engineering and heat transfer problems. Um, I have uh, taken up a heat transfer example over here. The problem source is in Mathematical Methods in Chemical Engineering book by S. Pushpavanam. Uh, example 4.2, page 72. You can go through the entire problem statement over there and how they have approached the modeling. The solution uh, process that is actually in the book is a little bit different. Uh, of course, it is a, a better method to go about the solution. But I have just taken up the uh, model equations from that particular problem to demonstrate how we can solve a system of ODs simultaneously in the MATLAB. The gist of the problem is that there is a steel ball at 100 degrees centigrade which is immersed into a water bath at 20 degrees centigrade and the system is allowed to reach equilibrium. The model equations for the system is as uh, given over here. These are the model equations that have been mentioned in the book. You can go through the details of how they have approached these uh, two equations. And uh, the target is that we have to find the temperature at which the system goes into equilibrium. That is the steady state temperature. So at steady state, the temperature of the ball and the water bath, they become equivalent. That is Tb equals to Tw. Now we'll start solving this problem. So first we do a symbolic representation of these uh, equations. For that purpose, I initialize two uh, variables Tb and Tw, each of which are functions of T. T is the time or the independent variable over here. And the first OD is differential of Tw, which is the uh, equivalent of 0.2 multiplied by Tb minus Tw as per the first equation. And the second equation OD2 is differential Tb equals to minus of Tb minus Tw. Now, uh, I uh, initialize both of these ODs into a system, a single system called ODs, which is uh, like a vector of these two symbolic representation. So I'm going to run this section of the code. So I've put my cursor over here and I'm going to click on run section. So today I am using a live script actually. Uh, the advantage with live script is that I can add in a lot of comments like here. This is a text portion. It's a part of the comment. And also I can execute the code section wise. Another very big advantage of uh, using the live editor for uh, this kind of uh, live scripts is that you can add equations very easily. You can add images if you want. And also, especially if you're doing some kind of assignment at the university level where uh, codings are involved and uh, you need to give explanations also, you can use a live script and save it directly into the Word form, uh, the doc format or the PDF format or the .txt format and share it. Anyways, moving forward. So now we have the system of ODs. This is the symbolic representation. But we are trying to do a numerical solution over here. And the symbolic representation is not exactly accepted for a numerical solution. In fact, we actually need a function. And the functions should be these two ODs which we want to solve. So the first thing we do is we convert this vector, uh, this uh, symbolic vector into the actual vectorial representation of the ODs. So to do that, I am using this inbuilt MATLAB function ODE to vector field for this system of ODs and we'll get a solution V. Okay. In case uh, you do not get this uh, MATLAB inbuilt function, uh, then I suggest that you uh, go through 
the MATLAB documentation for this particular function. Just type in the name of this function in the MathWorks website and you will get a lot of information pertaining to which toolbox it belongs to. Once you know which toolbox it belongs to, all you have to do is make sure that that particular toolbox is installed in your system and then you can just call this function as and when you wish. So right now I have the toolboxes, I have all the toolboxes installed so far which are allowed for academic use. So I'm just going to run this section and it will give me the vectorial representation. Okay, so I have obtained the vectorial representation V is equals to y2 minus y1 and y1 by 5 minus y2 by 5. Please mark it over here that these two equations have interchanged their positions. So Tw is basically uh, symbolized by y2 and uh, Tb is symbolized by y1. I have just written it out over here. Uh, so that uh, we do not get confused later on and this first expression is with respect to tb that is the this is the differential of y1 and the second expression is the differential equation for y2 that is tw now moving forward once we have converted this into a vectorial representation the next thing to do is to convert them to functions as i said the od45 operator will be taking in a function it will not take a vector it will not take a symbolic representation it will take a function or a function handle so the task is we have to convert this v into a function handle okay and to do that again i am calling another inbuilt matlab function uh, whose name itself is a matlab function it converts uh, your uh, operation or the expressions to the form of a function handle since i am converting the vector form over here the vector form of od so i am using this particular input vars if you are doing with some other kind of optimization work or uh, you are using a sparse uh, matrix type work then you must go through the details of how to utilize the MATLAB function. Now, uh, V is the one, uh, the vectorial uh, representation that you want to convert to a function handle. VARS is the input for that conversion. T is your independent variable and Y is the uh, dependent variable. Mind it over here, this Y has two values y1 and y2 and t has only one value that is y is basically uh, two dimensional and t is single dimensional that is the best way to keep this in mind we are following y over here because this vector has converted in the form of y if the, say the vector had converted in the form of x in, instead of y there had been x then i would write x over here okay now uh, once I execute this part, so I'm just going to place my cursor over here and run the section. I get this function handle wherein the ODs have been successfully converted to functions that can be called for our solution. The next part is very simple. We have to just call the OD45 inbuilt function. The format of OD45 is that first there will be the uh, function calling next input is the uh, span of the independent variable for me the time span that is the time is our independent variable so i am calling time from 0 to 100 units and the initial conditions so the first expression is for the differential of tb and initially tb was at 100 degrees centigrade that is the temperature of the ball initially was 100 degrees centigrade and for the next case, the temperature of the water bath was initially as at 20 degrees centigrade. So 120 are the initial conditions. Now I'm just going to execute this section. I'm running it. And what I get is a solution structure named ODE sol. So what is the solution structure say? The solution structure says that I have got ODE 45 uh as my solver 
and x over here is the independent variable y here is the dependent variable this is pretty much the universal way in which we refer uh, so x is a 1 cross 43 matrix that is it has a single row with 43 elements and y is a 2 cross 43 matrix which is uh, having the solutions for y1 and y2 now in the command window i have shown you how to call these values from the structure so if i want to know what is y from the structure first i place the structure name it is ode solve then i place the name of the variable that i want to call that is ode solve dot y and once i call that i get these 43 elements uh, and uh, two rows sorry 43 columns and uh, two rows uh, vector representation so this is the solution for y the first row is for your steel ball and the second row is for the water bath okay next we call the time vector also so to call the time vector that is od sol x variable i put this particular uh, command od sol that is the name of the structure dot x and i can see the time uh, vector is over here so this is the time vector up to 100 0 to 100 now what i do is I extract the first and second rows of the odsol.y separately. So the first row was for steel ball. So TB equals to odsol.y 1 comma colon operator. This is the uh, expression for uh, extracting the row and time is odsol.x obviously. TW is the second row extraction operation from odsol.y. Now I make a figure window where I will plot time and TW and then time and TB. The X label is time, Y label is temperature. I have put in the legends TW and TB and I do a title as plot for the solution. So I am just going to rerun this section for you. Uh, so it is running and it has loaded a figure. Okay. So this is the plot figure. I will just uh, reduce the size of the command window so that you can see the whole figure. Okay. So this is the entire figure. And you can see that TW, the water bath temperature has been plotted and TB, the steel ball temperature has been plotted. And at a certain point, they, the two lines merge together. Well, if you see the values as I have shown here, the od sol dot y values, the values are relatively close to each other, but they are not exactly equal. Had they been equal, then I could use a find function. You can look up in the MATLAB documentation of how to use the find inbuilt function to locate the point where the uh, element of TB is equals to TW and it will simply give you a result. But here in this case, we do not have exactly equal points. They are very close to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, double click on this graph and I get these notations. So I'm going to use data tips to show me the data point where these two values merge. So I take this cursor, the cross headed cur cursor over here and I just place it and I get the value is 33.40. The point at which this merging uh, or the uh, rather the equilibrium has approached. Y value temperature that is 33.40 degree centigrade and at time 5.68 units. So, this is how we have been able to solve a system of ordinary differential equations and find out the equilibrium or the steady state temperature for a steel bath, a steel and a steel ball and water bath system. The original way of solution that has been done in the book 
is very different but like i said i have just taken up this problem to demonstrate how we can solve a system of ods using matlab in case you come up with better ways to solve uh, this type of problem please do share in the comment section and that is it looking forward to the next time uh, thank you